If you're like me and you live in an area that has hard water, you're probably like, tired of seeing your dishes, plates, cutlery, and everything else come back with uh, white spots all over them from hard water stains. There's actually a very simple solution to this, and it's not vinegar or any other kind of magic uh, solution. Actually, just basic citric acid. Um, as you can see here, I have several different varieties of citric acid here. So this milliers type is what we mostly use because it's probably the most economical. Uh, this is 10 pounds and it's probably the, uh, I, I would say, uh, ounce for ounce the cheapest solution. Um, there is an, also called lemon shine, which is same thing, it's citric acid. Comes in a smaller bottle, uh, it is a bit more money though. So this might be a good thing to try just starting off with, see if it works for you. Then if this works for you, then you can kind of graduate to using this 10 pound bag or the, the 20 pound bag, or if they have higher varieties than that. Uh, depending on how much you use it. Let me shine does have a dishwashing detergent that uses both citric acid and I guess a traditional soap detergent kind of thing to clean your dishes with too. So it's kind of a two-in-one product. And also they make a cleaning solution to clean your dishwasher and remove buildup and deodorize and that kind of deal, also using citric acid. So citric acid is, is extremely safe. It's basically just an extract of uh, lemons and limes and that kind of thing, citrus products, and it's a powder form. And ultimately what happens is you put this in your dishwasher in the pre-rinse cycle and you add your regular, you know, uh, detergent that you would use. So if you use like the tabs or the powder or the gel, or whatever the case may be, uh, that's cool too. You just add that along with the citric acid in the pre-rinse cycle compartment and uh, let it loose and it'll do its magic. So in my case here, you can see I have a pre-wash and then I have a uh, main wash little container here. So you would put the citric acid into here, into pre-wash, and I'd probably fill this mostly up or maybe at least halfway up, depending how badly you have um, hard water stains on your dishes and cutlery and glasses and stuff like that. This is your main wash you put in here, either the tabs or the gel or the powder or whatever you, it is that you use. Um, and then you of course will close this up in my case. And then um, basically the citric acid will work as magic and clean off all the calcium deposits that you see on your plates that quite honestly make it look a bit gross. Um, I've had, you know, glass uh, containers and glasses and all that kind of stuff like that. They came, you know, previously would come out just coated in this white film that was just kind of gross to look at and didn't look clean. And then after I ran it through with the um, citric acid, it just came out absolutely sparkling and clean. It may take one or two wash cycles, depending how badly it is on your, you know, on your stuff like that for the citric acid to take full effect and to remove it all. But yeah, um, it's definitely very effective and uh, actually not that bad cost-wise cost either, depending on if you buy the big bulk variety of it or if you buy the smaller packs, like the Lemmy Shine, you know, kind of costs a bit more of a premium for some reason for the same product. Don't just take my word for it. Look at the results. On the left-hand side of my Pyrex container, as it was before with all the hard water residue. As you can see, it's pretty disgusting. And um, on the right hand side is actually after about one or two washings using the citric acid. So huge difference, it looks way, way better. Next picture here is actually the bottom side of the same container. You can also see absolutely coated with that residue, looks gross, don't want to eat from it. On the right hand side, huge improvement. Uh, you'll see, yeah, there's still some, some little bit spots towards the top a little bit, it is after only one washing, so a second washing would definitely get rid of that. And in the bottom left corner, you see it, it's actually just a, it's actually just a light, um, it's not actually residue, it's just kind of a light illumination thing from a skylight above, but it's basically pretty clean, as you can see. Next we have a cheese grater, so you can see here the cheese grater is also pretty gross looking. Again, coated with that hard water residue, even on the handle too up top in the plastic. And on the right hand side, you see the afterwards, I mean it's absolutely sparkling, right? Uh, yeah, it's still a little bit of spots here and there, but I mean, huge improvement. And next, here's the same cheese grater, but on the opposite side. This is the more fine-toothed part of the uh, grater, so it has more pits and grooves to go into. And you can see, again, left-hand side, totally gross. Right-hand side, huge improvement. Looks pretty much brand new. And as you can see here in the back of the packaging, Citric acid has quite a bit of use. In fact, you're probably using it already or eating it already in various candies and different food products that they use it for. So, you know, you can see you have here for arts and crafts, I think you can make bath bombs with this stuff. You can use it to make bread, obviously cleaning your uh, dishes more effectively. Water softening, which is how it actually cleans your dishes or keeps them clean when it goes through the wash cycle. And really a lot of other uses too. So it's a pretty versatile product. It's very safe. It's been used for years and years. And, you know, you can get the non-GMO one if you 
appearance, that kind of stuff, that's even better. So yeah, I definitely recommend this product. Really works very effectively. I've tried so many different things over the years, from using vinegar. I've tried these rinse aids that are supposed to remove all this kind of uh, residue, and they never worked, and they cost quite a bit of money. You know, some of those things are cost like 5 or $10 for one use kind of thing. This big bag, I think, cost maybe $25 or something like that. Um, and, you know, we probably got like at least 50 to 100 uses out of this one bag. So definitely uh, a huge, huge uh, improvement from those other products and a much more cost-effective uh, amount too. As far as detergents are concerned, I've always been a huge fan of the finish. I've always thought it did a very good job cleaning the plates and dishes and stuff like that, degreasing them and getting them just generally, you know, uh, clear food residue. Again, I struggled with the hard water stains, but when you combine this with the Lemmy Shine or the citric acid in general, whichever one you choose to get, again, I'll probably get the citric acid, the generic one, the Miller's one. When you combine the finish with the citric acid, really, it's an extremely good cleaning combination, and I've had a lot of success getting, you know, glasses to be completely and totally clean and translucent again from previously looking kind of caked on. So definitely. So my opinion, this is probably the best dishwashing detergent there is out there on the market. Check out the link shown in my video and also in the bottom description. They'll take you to the products I've shown in this video so you can buy them for yourself and get your dishes, plates, and glasses clean just like mine.